In fact, both black and white are employed in Islam to indicate things. Both have something in common. <laughs> something in common which has a bearing in Islam, which has uh, beautifully employed in Islam. White absorbs, black absorbs total light, does not miss an iota of light. So, from looking heavenly words, black indicates that we absorb entire light from heaven, and white reflects total light without being dishonest about it. So, a messenger has two aspects. One, our receiving things from Allah. In that respect, he is Nabi. Whatever he receives, he is completely, totally absorbed. And uh, when he speaks to the others, he reflects the entire light without being dishonest or stingy about it. So, that reflection makes it white. So, reception, uh, that is a complete reception without leaving anything out, and reflection, that is a complete reflection without leaving anything out, they are witnessed only in two colors, black and white. So, both have been employed uh, in Islam as flags. And also in Jamaat Ahmadiyya's choice of colors, in Jamaat Ahmadiyya's flag and in Khudamud Ahmadiyya's flag, both are reflected.